Okay, determine the equation of a graph. If we've got the roots, then at least another point in the graph, we can find the graph's equation. But if we've got the roots, then it, the graph's equation is simply f of x equals factor times factor times factor. But it could also be times by some sort of number, because a number in front of the roots doesn't change it. So we need a point to determine that. So here's a simple example. It says, find the equation of the cubic shown in the diagram, and I'm going to give you the points that they give us in this question. So let me just note these on. They tell us that this is minus 6, that this is minus 3, that this is 1. They also give us one point way down here, and they define that point as 0 minus 36, which we're going to need in a minute. So now, since we've got our roots, we can immediately say, here's our roots. Our roots are x equal minus 6, x equal minus 3, and x equal 1. So therefore, we've got our factors. We can write our factors, x plus 6, x plus 3, x minus 1. And therefore, we're almost done. f of x must equal, I'll leave a little gap, but it's x plus 6 times x plus 3 times x minus 1. But it could also be times any number you want, because if that was that equal to 0, the k in the front, the number in front wouldn't make a difference when you factorise. So we, we need to write k. We need to work out this k. But that's okay, because we know that when x is 0, y is minus 36. So we just sub in 0. f of 0 equals minus 36 from that point. So that gives you k times 0 plus 6, 0 plus 3, 0 minus 1 equals minus 36. To solve that, it gives us k times 6, 3 and minus 1 equals minus 36. 6, 3 is 18 times minus 1 is minus 18, so minus 18k equals minus 36. So k is equal to 2, so that means that f of x, to answer the question, is 2 times x plus 6, x plus 3, x minus 1. Obviously, the order of these brackets are not important at all. In the equation of a graph, and we've got repeated roots. If a repeated root exists, then the stationary points also on the x-axis. And what that means is, we should know this already, a repeated root means it's, it's a, essentially two roots which are the same. Okay? So the two factors are equal. So here's an example. Find the equation of the cubic shown in the diagram. There's our roots there, and there's another root there. And that gives us a random point, remember, so we can work out k. So step one, looking at our roots, we have got x equal minus 2 and x equal to 3, which is repeated. So that means our factors are x plus 2, x minus 3, and x minus 3 again, because it's a repeated root, because it's a turning point right here. So we can now say straight away that f of x is equal to k, some number, times x plus 2, times x minus 3, and you can write x minus 3 again, or oh, we did have halves here, let's write squared. Now we can just sub in our point. So our point is 0, 9, so when x is 0, y is equal to 9, so that gives us k, 0 plus 2, 0 minus 3 squared equals 9. Solve that equation, so that is k times 2 times, well, minus 3 squared is 9, and that equals 9, so 18k equals 9, should be obvious then that k is equal to a half, 9 over 18. So now we just write our answer, f of x is equal to 1 half of x plus 2, x minus 3, all squared. And that's us done.